Welcome back, friends. I hope you had a lot of fun folding all those Sonobe units. Do you have six of them? Let's see what they look like. Here's mine. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And maybe you use the same color paper or maybe use some different colors, but here's my arrangement. You'll need six of them to make this cube. The best part about these is that these modules can be put together and pulled apart. So if you make this cube and you decide you'd like to immediately go on and make the octahedron, all you have to do is fold six more and you're ready to go. But let's see how these actually fit together. Take a close look, maybe even closer, and you'll notice that each of these triangles is a pocket. Look, there's one right there, and I can even pop it open if I stick my finger under it a little bit. There we go. Take a look. And there's actually four of those. Now what we do is we take another Sonobe unit, and you'll see that triangle can actually fit right into that pocket. Like that. We're going to actually use the one right here. Make sure you're using the one that doesn't have one of these pieces sticking out. Just like that. Check that out. And then take another one, maybe a different color or an opposite color, or if you're using the same color, and we're going to put that one in on the opposite side. So now you can already see one face of your cube. And we've got to build the rest in there. Why don't we do the opposite face next? I'm going to take another Sonobe unit. I'm going to insert right into the pocket there, and on this side, the same thing. And there's another face. Check that out. So I've got two more Sonobe units here, and I'm going to plug those in now too. But uh, for these sides, you might want to just open this up to get that unit in place first. Then take each of these and put them into a flap. Fit it right in like that on this side as well. Taking it and putting it right into that flap. Fantastic. And then we can do that top face as well. Right into that flap. So there's not much folding in this part of the lesson. Really all the folding comes down to how many of these you create. And the more you create, the more complex things you can make. And really that comes down to polyhedrons. You know that polygons are those flat shapes with many sides. Well, polyhedrons are 3D shapes with many sides. And this one is yeah, it's a cube, but there's others to explore too. We're going to put our last side in there, and now I'm going to put these into the right pockets. There's one. There's a second one, and we've got two more to do, and we'll be done. That would be this yellow one right here. Flip it right into that pocket, and here's one more right into that pocket. Fantastic. And just, you know, wiggle it around a little bit. Make sure all your edges are nice and closed up and you should have a beautiful little cube. Now you could give this as a gift. You could even put a present inside of it. Uh, maybe even a jingle bell and uh, throw it around for your cat to play with, right? But also if you made it out of white paper, uh, think about taking a colored pencil or a marker and maybe writing some numbers or dots on there and you've got a dice to play for your favorite game board. How cool is that? So have a lot of fun with this, and if you'd like to check out how we can just pull these apart and uh, start making something else, head over to the Octahedron video and uh, bring 12 of these with you. I'll see you there.